Just let your legs swing. Very simple. So the leg is straight and just swinging. Right? To loosen the hip, loosen the leg. This gets us ready to do our kicks. Okay? Then the other leg. First, always find your balance. And then let the leg swing. Okay, shake your legs, shake your arms. So now in Kung Fu, we have many weapons. Both legs, both arms, both elbows, shoulders, hips, knees, head. I don't recommend using the head because I'd rather not get a concussion myself, right? But the whole body can be a weapon. So we work on all the tools to be able to defend ourselves from attack or to help somebody else who's being attacked. Um, most times, Kung Fu is practiced in a sequence of movement, like our Tai Chi where you practice what's called a form. But in today, we're going to be doing exercises to help us develop certain skills. So what we're going to do is first a front kick, a front axe kick. So start with one foot forward, and I want both arms out. Now the goal here is to keep both arms still. You're going to take your back leg, and using your hip joint, you're going to bring it up and back down. So just bring it up and then down. And we're going to do that one a few times. Up, down, up down. So if you notice, we don't want to move our arms very much. Try not to throw your body forward. Just move your hip joint. Ready, Jade? Okay, here we go. 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 One more. Go. Good. Okay, other foot forward. So we do the other leg. So we're going to do the same thing. Now the idea is don't try to kick high. Just let your leg come up naturally. Ready? Go. 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 One more. Go. Good. Good job. Shake your leg. Okay, now another kick that we do is called a lotus sweep kick, or in some martial arts they call it an outside crescent kick. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle. So if you just bring your hands up, one foot back, and what you're going to do is do this very low first. You're going to bring your foot across and out, and then the other leg. Bring it across and out. Bring that foot back, then across and out. Then the other foot, across and out. And now the goal, what we're looking to do, is to kick our hand. If you cannot kick your hand, don't worry about it. Don't try to bring your hand to the foot. Just bring it up to where you can. So we're going to just do one leg, okay? So arm out, so across, kick the hand, then back to where you were. Now again. Good, okay? Now other leg, both arms out. We're going to bring it across and out. Again, if you could only do this, no problem. Just do that. So arms out. We're going to kick the hand. Good job. Shake your legs. Okay, now we're going to go the other direction. So now what you're going to do, arms out, we'll do it low first. Circle in and back. So circle inward. Okay, one more low. Okay, so now we're going to try and kick the hand again. Again, if you need to do it low and just keep your arms out, fine. Try not to bring your hands down. Ready, Jade? Okay, ready, go. Okay, other leg. So first we do low. Okay, ready? Low and slow. Low and slow. Okay, and go. Good. Shake your legs. Okay, so now we're going to do another set of kicks that go in four directions. This is going to be a heel kick. So what you want to make sure is you pull your toes 
pull your toes back to you so that your heel is pushing outward. And we won't do these real fast. Weights on one leg, on your left leg. You're going to kick forward, kick back, kick across the body, kick to the side. Now other leg, forward, back, cross, side, forward, back, across, side, forward, back, cross, side, forward, back, cross, side. One, two, three, four. Hands on the hips. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. Shake your legs. Shake your arms. So this is some kicking that we can do just even as exercise without even thinking of self-defense. Now a very good in close fighting, somebody's bothering you, is the elbow. I always say the elbow is like a ball peen hammer, right? Don't have to hit hard, it's going to hurt a lot. So what we're going to do is get into what's called a horse stance. So the feet are parallel, knees are pushing outward, tailbone drops, hands in two fists. So we're going to do the same sequence, forward, back, across, side, other arm, back, across, side, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's with the elbow, 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 elbow. Now put a little something into it. It doesn't have to be fast, I want you to have some power in it. So go, 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 two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four, good. Shake your arms, okay? So that's some elbows. So now we can also uh, do punches. We can strike with the palm, okay? So let's try a palm strike. Palm strike doesn't need to have a lot if you use your whole body. So what you're going to do is you're going to shift to your left leg and your right hand is going to come up like you're slapping somebody but you're hitting with this part and you're turning your hip. And then you're going to come the other direction. And then the other direction. Other direction. So if you notice, look at how I rotate. So my palm is here. The other one is rotating, rotating, rotating. Strike. Right to the front. Shift the weight, turn the body. Shift the weight, turn the body. Good, and relax. So we're just kind of going through some movements. Normally we do a lot more of each. Try and really get our body strong and healthy. So let's do a couple punches. So again, we always come into the, what's this horse stance. The legs have to be strong. No, if your legs are not strong, you have no kung fu. Okay, the legs are the most important ingredient. So we form a fist, a kung fu fist, a strong fist. Curl the fingers in real tight. Hands, thumb on top. Hands here. Now we're going to do a straight punch. Come out and then roll the arm. Pull it in. Come out, palm up, and roll the arm. Pull in. Punch. 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 Straight on. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the body. Punch. Turn the body. And we're going to punch right towards the front. Turn and punch. Center. Turn and punch. Center. Turn and punch. Center. So we're turning into what's called a bow stance or a forward stance. And we're punching here and we always look where we punch. Center. Turn and punch. Center. Turn and punch. Center. Turn and punch. Center. Turn. Center. Turn. Center. Turn. Center, turn. Center, once more each side. 
Good. Back to the center. Shake your hands, shake your arms. Okay, so now, as I said before, we have to have strong legs. So we're going to just begin by sitting in our horse stance, bringing the hands in front. You want to feel like your tailbone is dropping. The knees are pushing out. Relax, centered. Tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. A crescent moon shape in your arms. Look straight ahead. Now turn to the side. Push your back heel down. Sink into your front hip. Center. Side. Center. And rise up. Okay, let's take three breaths. My name is Rich Morantz, and this is my daughter Jade, and I thank you for joining us today on Stillness in Motion on our Kung Fu episode. Until next time, I wish you peace, good health, and happiness. <laughs>